Watch your ums. No. I, I ummed like three times. Get off me. You had a lot of ums. Get off, my, get off my big toe, bro. What's going on everybody? Welcome to Bruce's Body Positivity slash it's 30 degrees out. I soaked through my shirt and I own the gym. Real quick, big thank you to everybody who picked stuff up from our last launch. We still have a number of these beautiful mountain shirts left. Obviously not this one. That's disgusting because it's soaking wet. And then also the shorts that you'll see me wearing. I don't know how I'm framed right now, whether I look like a floating naked torso or... I can kind of see it. Okay, yeah, these shorts are... <laughs> there's also a number of pairs available. Anyways, thanks everybody who picked some up. Hello to anybody who might be a new subscriber. We posted a squat transformation video that blew the heck up and made a whole bunch of people want to come see what Calgary Barbell's about. So, hello everyone. Uh, welcome. <laughs> So we're 10 and a half or so weeks out from North Americans right now. And honestly, knock on wood, but things are still going super well. I came in and, you know, went through my squat workout today, was able to push some pretty decent volume, with some pretty decent weights on the SSB and it was comfortable. And it, again, you know, I'm probably going to say this a lot. Hopefully I'm going to say this a lot through this you know, next little bit of vlogging and whatever leading into North Americans, but I'm just so grateful to be able to do it. I'm so happy to be able to come in and lift. And it's like, it's not the heaviest stuff I've ever done. It's not the most challenging. It's not the most flashy, but I can come in and I can put in some really hard work and it feels freaking good. It just, it feels good. I feel like myself again, which, you know, when I can't train, when I can't, when I'm held back and not able to, push hard in the gym, I don't, I don't feel like myself. I get bad mentally. So very happy, very in a good place right now. Uh, so hopefully that means that it's good to be recording this stuff. But uh, what else, what else, what else? So we had a question on our last video mm -hmm. and normally we answer these on our Instagram, but I figured this one might be better for like long form. Right. And the question is not to be controversial, but wasn't it not long ago you were quite dismissive of SPD? Not to be controversial. I, I get feel what like saying. starting a sentence like that is like, uh, not to be controversial, but I'm about to say something very controversial. So sorry to answer the question. Yeah, I, I had a problem with a policy that SPD had, and I was very vocal about that. And I don't apologize, I don't walk it back. I didn't like that at the time. I didn't think it was fair because I was supported by somebody else, and the Team Canada sponsorship at the time read that if I wore my sponsor's stuff that wasn't SPD, then it would negatively impact my teammates, and I didn't think that was fair. That's, that's it. The reason that I then went on to work with SPD was because despite that specific policy that I took, uh, took issue with, I ended up seeing the things that they do for their athletes. I ended up being witness to the care that they took of their athletes, the interaction, the getting things to them early, the, you know, incorporating them into their promo materials, the, helping out with travel and meat fees and the potential to win cash if you if you podium and you do well it just made more sense and yeah i mean at some point financial things they do come into play this is a huge huge part of my life and is my business and is kind of my whole world to power lift so if there's any way that I can help use the lifting and the training that I'm doing that I'm passionate about to support myself, to make things more feasible, you know, to buy all the food that I need to look this good, um, <laughs> then I, I just, I had to, I had to go that route. Um, not I had to, I, I was very excited to, if I'm being honest. Uh, we had had some talks with Titan, full disclosure, transparency, 
and they had spoken about doing some athlete stipends or some sort of thing. And I think it was about three years later, I just, I hadn't heard anything about it. I had checked in a few times and I was getting to the point in my career where if I was gonna work with somebody and like shake each other's hand or what's this saying? I wash your back, you wash mine. Is that it? Scratch. Scratch. Yes. Scratch your back. Scratch the back. Although I can't, I can't reach my back. So I really need somebody to scratch my back. I just, I, I wanted to enter into a more productive relationship with a, a powerlifting brand. And SPD was the brand. They were constantly innovating stuff. They were coming out with new things. They were incredibly professional. It just, it just made sense. Anyways, I'm kind of blabbering on, but I think you get the point. So that's why I ended up making the switch. I also, at that point, had decided that I didn't really want to do Equipped for the foreseeable future. And I get asked about that a lot. I don't, I don't think I'm done with equipped period forever, full stop. I don't see myself doing it anytime in the near future, but I certainly love it. And if I can ever find a way to make the time commitment work um, or, or feel the need to prioritize the time to do that, then that might be something I, I look, look at again. So yeah, that was, that was that whole ordeal. Hopefully Dylan edits it down to make it a little less rambly. Nah. Uh, nah. You'll also notice in the video today, I was wearing the old SPD sleeves. I didn't wear the new big, beefy, beautiful, bad boy ones because I spent five and a half hours getting my whole thigh and knee tattooed on the weekend. And it just, I, I didn't want to disrupt the healing any more than I had to. But yeah, the Chihuahua is gone. Say farewell. As far as the rest of the lifting from today goes, I hit a boatload of sets of feet up bench. I thought I had done 160 for eight in the past. So when I loaded 155 today, I thought, okay, you know, reasonable jumps, getting back up to sort of the, the peak condition of the block here. Took 155 and it was like nine and a half, if not a 10 uh, for all eight reps. However, I then looked back at my training log and realized that my best feet up bench, 160 for six. So actually I think uh, probably some positive headway on that today. Also have been able to load up the back extension more than uh, maybe I ever have before. 100 and 100? It's still on the bar. 100 kilos? Just 100 kilos on the, uh, on the back extensions there. And that felt hectic. <laughs> it, it, it feels weird and bad and I don't, I don't really know how stable I feel on that just yet. I had to bring the, the whatever, the pads up one and that felt a lot better. And then I think maybe close to a PR on the chest supported row as well. So that's something you do when you've been powerlifting for a very long time is you hit PRs on weird lifts that nobody cares about. So chest supported row PR, get you some. So 10 and a half weeks out, next two weeks, I'm gonna be traveling, deloading, doing some washout stuff. I will be in Malta for IPF Worlds. I'll be coaching on the Sunday and then I will be on a beach reading a bunch of fantasy novels and exploring Gozo for another week. I will be back the following week and we will resume vlogs. We've got uh, content planned and stuff coming out while I'm gone. So don't worry, you'll have your content and we'll pick up the vlogs where we left off. I'll try to film some stuff while I'm gone and that's, that, that's all we've got. Make sure to go check out the training app if you want to support the channel. If you're interested in some of this sweet, sweet apparel like I talked about, that's going to be in the description below. Other than that, like, subscribe, all that stuff. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.